Ladies and gentlemen, you know, I did a video a while ago on the drought that's going on down around Georgia and Lake Lanier is drying up. Now, this has happened before, you know, and sometimes it got so bad, you know, you could start seeing uh, Oscarville. So we'll see how bad it gets in 2024. But so far, the drought is still going strong. And Lake Lanier, since the last time I reported on the drought down there, has gotten worse. So as you can see, you know, what in this picture it really should be underwater. But you are starting to see more and more land and the receding is still pretty accelerated down there. It would be nice to see Oscarville. You know, that was a very successful town. The people in that town were doing well. But see, ladies and gentlemen, whenever they pick a town to build in or they want to bulldoze the houses down and all that, it, you know, always in the black neighborhood, it's always people that are doing fairly well. You know, and they come to disrupt your life. This is what they do historically and continue to do even to this very day. So you had a, a overwhelmingly um, good, strong community that was doing financially doing very well. That's why they came to do what they did, flood it all out and create this man-made lake and it keeps receding because technically it shouldn't be here at all. And it will eventually completely go. Everything that these folks have altered, y'all, is ultimately going to go right back to its original state. And Lake Lanier is not an exception. It will too. So let's get into it. What is Lake Lanier's water level in January 2024? Well, I'm sure it's not any better. So Lake Lanier's water level has decreased significantly, reaching a six-year low on January 2nd, 2024. So they said it's at 1,064.42 feet. That's 6.58 feet below the full pool level due to persistent drought conditions in Georgia. Yeah. And from what I understand, y'all, the drought condition, uh, condition that's going on down in Georgia is not going anywhere anytime soon. They expect this drought to persist throughout 2024. So the water level at Lake Lanier as of January 2nd, 2024, they said um, the level marks a significant drop reflecting an ongoing drought impacting North Georgia. The last time such low levels were observed was in May of 2017. So you're talking seven years ago, seven years ago. This decline in water levels is a direct consequence of the worsening drought conditions across the region. The U.S. Drought Monitor reports moderate to extreme drought conditions in Northeast Flo um, Florida, I'm getting ready to say Florida, Georgia. The lowering of the lake's water level has affected both its ecology and recreational use. And we all know about the deaths that took place through the spring and summer of 2023. And it seems like every week it was someone drowning in Lake Lanier. So the receding water levels have led to environmental stress, especially on the vegetation along the shoreline. Additionally, there's an increased risk for boaters as previously submerged hazards 
are now closer to the surface or exposed. This situation also affects private docks and boat ramps, with about 20% of them currently unusable due to the low water levels. Mm -mm -mm. So y'all, it don't look good for Lake Lanier. We'll see what happens this year if it will continue to recede, which they seem to believe it will. And how much will it reveal under all of that water? How much of it will we see? I definitely will try to keep track of this. And, you know, remember our ancestors that were wrongly taken out of this earth because they made this man-made lake just to get rid of a successful thriving black town that was once there where you see the lake you know anything that we anytime we do well or they don't want to look at anything historic they'll just bulldoze it down build on top of it and throw a lake on top of it and you never know what the original town underneath was but we sure know what it is and we'll continue to tell the story of our forefathers that lived in Oscarville. Many of them are with the ancestors now. So y'all, please tell me what you think about this video. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell and I'll see you on the next video. And by the way, if any of my subscribers live near this lake, or you frequently go past this area, tell me what it looks like. Do you notice the receding there in uh, Northeast Georgia? If you do, let me know in the comment section. Peace, family.